some time off, and you came back uh, here to fight, and uh, it looked like it looked like the, the rounds were taxing on you. Did it have anything to do with the heat and stuff during the week, or? Ah, no, I, um, for one, there's like kind of like that initial initial feeling when you don't know how the fight's gonna go or how how the round's going, and once you get hit a few times, then you kind of forget about it, and it's just in the back of your mind that you need to push a little bit harder. And uh, once once I felt my strikes like landing, um, I how all did, I how did you feel that they were landing? Like, how did you? How I explain how you felt them land. You know, honestly, honestly, I felt like they could have landed a lot better. Okay. Um, I wasn't able to sit on my punches. My feet were sweating so bad. I was like slipping. It was, yeah. I mean, I, I, my feet sweat profusely anyway, and uh, yeah. So when I was when I was unable to get grip with my feet, it's like all my punching technique went out the window. So then I kind of kind of looked like I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, so kind of more focused towards wrestling, and then break from the wrestling and strike off that. And he uh, took you down in, the, in that early round. But the, in the oh yeah, that was, yeah. That, was good, yeah. that was a good shot. Yeah, that was good. That was good timing. I wasn't expecting a good shot like that. Um, my hat's off to him. Did you get the sense that he he had spent he spent his energy there though? Because obviously in the later rounds you you seem to capitalize on the exchanges. Uh, yeah, you know, um, I mean, anytime you exert like that and you get a takedown, it's like you you have to exert just a little bit more before you can relax them. Mm -hmm. And I know this from doing it a lot. And once I exploded out of the position, I was able to hang on him and kind of make him pay for him exerting that force. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't, I could, I could probably go on for hours like talking about little details about the things, but like, anytime something like that happens, you gotta, you gotta immediately react and get out of the position and make the person hang, on, hang your weight or try to get your weight hanging on them so that way they're, they're getting more tired. Greg, you know, you displayed some excellent boxing, a lot of head movement, <laughs> and I, I'm surprised because as a martial artist myself, you got to be cautioned about knees and the head kicks going on with that. Yeah. Is Did you figure out when fighting Yuri, even though he's unpredictable, uh, he has an excellent ground game, did you figure out as the rounds get went on that you felt comfortable enough to use your head movement and try to dig into the body shots that actually work on it? Yeah. You know, I mean, like I said before, so I, when I have grip on my feet, <laughs> it's like everything would be probably five times better than what it looked. I'm sure, I mean, in my opinion, I felt horrible. I felt really sloppy. And I'll go and I'll probably cringe when I watch it again. <laughs> just because. Worst critic. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you don't get any better if that's the case. So, um, not, I mean, what it, what it really boiled down to was I knew that he was in the same situation. So if I wasn't able to sit down on my punches, he wasn't gonna be able to sit down on his punches. Yeah. So I just needed to hit him more. I mean, still, Rick. I mean, it, from me looking at it, I mean, it looks like you were getting off. It's just like his head was jumping back, and it's like where you. I mean, even though you criticized it, so like you already said, your feet was bad, but you were surprised. And were you surprised at like how well he was able to take the punches oh. and, and chin he had? Just, this guy's not going down. Yeah, you know, when it happens like that and he's just durable. I don't sit and think and be surprised because if I'm surprised, then I might get a little disheartened. So I just like, okay, he's still standing. I'm gonna keep punching. That's my mindset. Right. So as long as he's standing, I'm gonna be throwing punches at him and try to make him land. That's it. Those body punches, those uppercuts. Those yeah. You threw several. <laughs> yeah. And several. I mean, could you feel him reacting to those when they landed? You yeah. Said you, were, you were losing grip, but. Those look like they were digging deep in. Well, my boxing coach, Andy Minister, is uh, having me drill that. And like when I'm making him cringe from hitting body shots through the pad, you know you know that they're going to land hard. So uh, I was really comfortable in throwing them, and he's just kind of refining my technique. And uh, even if I hit elbows, it's going to hurt elbows throwing punches like that. So I, you know, I was trying to pick my shots, but I'm sure he's got some welds and bruises on his elbows, too, because I was hitting those. Rick, also, um, you know, just take it back a little bit, you know, when contractors up looking for places to talk to, promotion to get with, what was one of the things and, uh, that made you more comfortable to 
along with this promotion and also you know you come from the other side of the coast <laughs> <laughs> all the way from you know portland where you where you're originally from just coming to dc how early did you get here how much did that wear you know honestly after after i ended my contract with the ufc and i let my contract run out i was pretty close to hanging it up how uh, close like I very was, really I was close? Pretty close yeah if, if what I was the reason if you don't mind uh asking. because i was pursuing firefighting and yeah, yeah. Naturally, so, is that something like that you always want to do? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, just recently, like within the last like three years, it was something that. This is to a stiopic thing. Like maybe you, I don't know if you talked to the, the heavyweight champion about that. You know. Oh no, no, as well. no. It's not. It's not anything like that. I went on some ride-alongs. I went on ride-alongs with some police officers, okay. and I went on uh, ride-alongs with uh, the fire department. And hey, it's just it's me. Right. It's just what I want to do. And I didn't know that until I did ride-alongs. And I didn't realize, you know, the team orientation and the family type feel, plus you're going out and able to help people. That's awesome. It, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. So um, if I would have landed in a, got a job or an opportunity in an academy, I probably would have taken a contract. Saving lives. And yeah, yeah. Catching trees and stuff. But, you know, the only other thing is, like, if, I mean, I didn't, I didn't 100% commit because I knew, you know, there was unfinished business in MMA. So when the PFL came at me with this tournament style and the yeah. ability to win that whole lump sum just winning and you don't have to play the politics game, and, I mean. How long did it take you to make that decision? Where you don't have to name them or other promotions talking to you as well? I would say, I would say it took me about a month and a half because I didn't, at the time that the contract offer was up, you know, uh, uh, I was on the list for Portland Fire, and the, there was another academy right around the corner. Okay. And I was notified that I was an alternate, and I could have been picked up by the academy. So, uh, you know, I was kind of, kind of at a pivot point where I needed to prevent fight is done, fire fire. But uh, ended up that I didn't get into the academy, so I was, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna fight because. I get, I get an opportunity to uh, prove that that last loss wasn't wasn't my best, or wasn't me. Yeah. So I was able to come out with a win tonight, and Yuri was a very tough opponent, very durable. Yeah. And, you know, we go on to the next one. You know, the, 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 okay. no, no, I'll let you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 let them close up. I ain't going to take too much of the time. Sorry, I, I, sit, I can sit and ramble. Yeah, I can talk for days, too. No, it's not that. <laughs> Yeah, once you get back, man. Uh, no, no, thanks, thanks for your time. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. Is there anything else? No, we're good, man. Okay. Looking forward to the next one. All right, thanks.